This is Dr. Jeff, the Rocky Mountain Vet. I want to really thank everybody for the prayers, the well wishes, and the donations. Dr. Jeff Young, the star of Doctor. Jeff, the Rocky Mountain Vet, has continuously been on his fans' minds. He seems to be going through a lot at the moment, from moving his practice to facing cancer again. Find out what happened to him and his latest updates on his cancer and clinics move in this video. Cancer History Explained Dr. Jeff received awful news in 2016 about a possibly deadly condition. His physician informed him that he had B-cell lymphoma. Following a series of tests, it was discovered that he had an 8 centimeters cancerous growth within his body. Because of this, he needed more chemotherapy sessions to fully remove the cancer. The good news is that Young recovered fully, even though the chemotherapy treatments caused him to lose his signature long hair. Dr. Young's GoFundMe page was established in August 2023 after he was diagnosed with an extra uncommon and severe illness. However, there have been no updates regarding his lymphoma. The GoFundMe stated, He won't go down without a fight. The reality is, he's in a fight for his life. But also that, he just doesn't have the energy to take on all his health issues and the financial struggles he's had to face opening the new clinic. Dr. Jeff Young's Clinic Shift Dr. Jeff revealed his plans to move his clinic from the Wheat Ridge Municipality in Colorado to Conifer, an unincorporated community within Jefferson County of the same state. He bought the Conifer Crossings Building at 11825 U.S. 285 for $1.5 million and is trying to make it a cutting-edge veterinary hospital and training facility for veterinarians throughout the nation. Formerly a scooter smokehouse and grill, the building spans a stellar 12,000 square foot building. After the relocation was finished, the Wheat Ridge Clinic was closed. Young stated that the Conifer Crossing site was the perfect place for the new facility he had been searching for, even though he had looked in Evergreen and Nederland. The practice will adapt to the shift in driving times because its clientele is from all across the state. In addition, Young mentioned that he was collaborating with the Intermountain Humane Society on the new facility. Dr. Jeff Young's Cancer and Move Update The soon-to-be 68-year-old doctor has been giving us weekly or at least monthly updates on both his cancer and the new move through his clinic's official Facebook page. Uh, certainly, uh, I'm doing well. I'm recovering from uh, my last chemo. It's, it's been a little rough, I'll be the first to admit, but we're moving on. And I, don't, I want to clear up the fact that we've moved up here to Conifer, Colorado. He repeatedly also has to confirm that he is alive and well after learning about many death hoaxes that have gained traction because of his health problems. On the 24th of June, 2023, he posted a video with the caption, Please watch this message from Dr. Jeff. Now more than ever, he needs your help. In the video, he is asking for his fans' financial help as the clinic is still over budget and in construction. He reassured fans that he was a tight ass and doesn't spend money lightly. He also was not asking for help in small amounts from people who could barely buy food for their own pets, but rather from people who had larger money to give away, since only that could make a difference. Thank you everybody for the prayers, the well wishes, and the donations. God knows I can't work quite as much as I used to um, dealing with this cancer, uh, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I try to work a little bit every day, do my best. Then, on the 20th of August, 2023, he posted a video thanking the fans for their well wishes and prayers before giving his health update. He said that he was doing well even though it was a little rough and that his last chemo went well. However, he once again asked for his fans' financial help since every operation seemed to be costing him upward of $2,000. A few weeks later, he also posted a reel in which he stated that he still needed help with his new location. He also gave a little update that he was slowing down a little but was not planning to stop anytime soon. Let's hope both his cancer battle and the risky big move work out for him.